Hi guys, so I've been uh, thinking what to do with this broken screen. Uh, it's playing up you know, sort of less and less each day, uh, but it's still a bit uh, troublesome. So I think we're going to risk uh, fitting the new uh, glass to this. Um, looking, on, <coughs> excuse me, looking online and YouTube, there's uh, a number of methods from you know just heating this up to about 90 degrees and uh, you know, using a sharp blade and gently easing the, the glass up but if you mess that up you're going to crack the actual uh, display. Um, there's special equipment you can buy from sort of 200 upwards. Uh, one of them, uh, another method is to use some uh, uh, special wire to uh, gradually pull down uh, pretty much like uh, cheese wire you know where you would slice cheese by and this will just come underneath the glass and separate the glue. And then I thought, well, hang on a second, we've got a, a BGA rework station here that's brand new, not been used very much. Uh, I wonder if I can use the uh, preheater to get the phone up to 90. Obviously, once all the battery in the back and everything's uh, dismantled, I've got to change this uh, center bezel anyway, so it's all going to be in pieces. Um, so I thought we'll fire this up uh, and then I realised that of course the preheater doesn't really want to work <laughs> unless you're running a profile. Now there may be a way around that with some settings on the uh, preheater uh, panel but all I've done is I've selected pattern 9, I've set the set value to 0 and I've set the first process step to something like 80 minutes so, and then just hit the start button uh, so obviously that is uh, stone cold and the preheater uh, is saying it's at 90 degrees but if you look across hopefully you'll be able to see that yeah if uh, if you look at the three uh, K type thermocouples that I've uh, just put in three different places so that's number one that's 70 number two 72 and uh, strangely number three is uh, 55 and that's the one at the back there. I've just used some Captain tape just to hold them roughly in place. Um, so we're a few degrees shy of, uh, of where we need to be. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bump this uh, pro set value up until we, uh, until we get the desired temperature on these K-type thermocouples. So you know, looking at these I'm going to bump it up another 20 degrees. So we're going to run this up to uh, 110. Let's try it at 110 first of all and see what difference that makes. You can see the process value going up. And I can see why people take this uh, chrome bezel off and the glass to expose just the elements because you're losing a lot of heat uh, through that. I quite like how it looks though so I'm probably going to leave it that way and we'll just work out how to compensate so that's now I think it's at 110 and uh, we've not had any change in well okay they're going up a little bit slowly it's not a massive it's not a quick change there that glass has got to come up to temperature yeah, and the surround the metal surround is also taking heat away from it it's not so much in the, the darker metal there's quite a bit in the chromed bezel. Just wondering if there's uh, somehow we can make up a little jig. Uh, just screw it down onto this and uh, use that. I think it's molybdenum, molyb molybdenum <laughs> wire and uh, just a couple of handles and if we have a piece of metal on sorry I'm looking at the things yeah so if we have a piece of metal 
along here, maybe screwed in somewhere. We might be able to put the screen down on that and then using the uh, wire in that cheese cutting uh, method we might be able to separate it that way. If not I was thinking we can just put this down, screen you know down after it's all been stripped out and uh, try and prise it up. As you can see the values are rising. So that 110 is probably not going to be far off by the time this is stabilised. I don't really know why that one over the back is so uh, so different. I'm just going to hold that down a bit more. Nah, not really making much difference. It's a different uh, thermocouple, so maybe it's not uh, not entirely accurate compared to the other two. So, So it looks like we would be using the front of, uh, of, the of this uh, preheater. That's the higher temperature. So as I say, you know, this might save me buying one of those vacuum uh, preheating machines, especially for phones. You know, I don't intend to do phones particularly, but. It might be useful, you never know what's going to happen, might be another useful string to the bow. But as this is uh, at the moment just a one-off, um, it might be worth just seeing if we can rig something up for this. I should imagine the trickiest part is uh, well, obviously not damaging the digitizer and the screen and, uh, and then probably aligning the glass. There's uh, two sensors bottom left and right and they seem to be uh, on a sticky foil and they have to be prized off of the old glass and then positioned onto the new glass and then the glass lowered down. There also seems to be different ways of sticking these back on. I've seen the uh, um, uh, the glue, the liquid uh, ultraviolet glue that dries under ultraviolet light. Uh, I've seen strips of double-sided tape being put all around and I think there is a uh, pre-cut out uh, sticky pad that you can just put over that's already cut out to the right uh, you know size and shape for your phone right so what have we got so 109 process value there and we've got yeah, 86 89 so it's looking about right it's probably going to overshoot a fraction now so i think we might just change that down Oops. yeah we're going to put that down to 105 got to watch the temperature on the on the display because that can uh, cause faults to develop as I've seen on YouTube <laughs> makes sense you don't want to be heating anything up too high okay so what uh, at a set value of 105 we're hovering around the 88 and 92 of range which I think is going to be acceptable this has been on probably 20 30 minutes or so just to let it fully stabilize yeah this is uh, this is pretty stable now I think so I'd be quite happy with that so I think we'll rig maybe something up to hold the phone screen in place and uh, yeah then we'll I've got some wire on order don't know whether it will come tomorrow or maybe the next day 
again I've also ordered the uh, glass screen I haven't ordered any of the moulds that help you align everything um, if I'm going to do that I'd make it as part of a you know a bundle with the machine and uh, all of the templates for as many phones as possible but just for this one off I think we're going to stick uh, with what we've got here and uh, yeah just give that a go so yeah just uh, thought that would be uh, interesting to show you um, wonder if any other guys doing BGA rework have considered using uh, the preheater as a, a mobile phone uh, screen heater Anyway, more later when I've got the uh, the display, sorry, the the, the glass and uh, the other equipment. Catch you later.